Welcome back to Button Smash and welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm your boy Spider Minutes. I'm here with my sister. Ah! Sorry, that was a yawn. That's why. That's why I got minutes to get that Thank ah! you. off. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, right, yeah, is smiling on me. Vegeta caught Krillin with the Dragon Ball. Yeah, where did I go? I'm coming to whoop your ass. Well, not to whoop your ass specifically. Sorry, I'm that coming. is something in my eye. I couldn't see. Okay. Yeah, you can't scratch it because you got robot yeah. fingers. Mm. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. Zarbon, pop up over here so I can whoop your ass. Oh, because I'm level 26 now. Oh. So let's go get Bazan uh, Zarbonzi. Bazans? You say Bazans? I said Zarbonzi. But you said Bazans. I probably did. Well, since I got this thing right here, let me go ahead and... Uh, Where are you going? I got a purple thingy right there. Where? This oh. thing in front of me. Is it Frieza stuff? Frieza, 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 Frieza. Oh, fine. Uh, uh. Does, does Vegeta have little people complex? Uh, Napoleon complex, you mean? Yeah. Although we did find out that's not really a thing. Well, but. not so much that it wasn't a thing. It's just like he wasn't as he's not as short as people thought he was. Try to say he was to to make it like a whole thing. Cause like he he was like normal for his. Yeah, I thought he was like what five ten or something. No, he's like five, still like five seven, but like at the time that, that was, was like average. Bit, I thought he was just a little bit taller than five seven. But... Yeah, I think it was like how, how how tall was he? Like I think it was just five seven. It might have been, which still isn't really. Huh. Yeah, there you go. Blow up. Thank you. Ooh, fruit gelatin. Okay. Uh. What do you say up uh, for? It's fruit gelatin. Well, unless it's strawberry. Maybe it's fine. Okay, can I get a bro thank you. Give me my key back. What key? Oh. Nobody cares, Vegeta. Let's just move on with the story. Yeah. Might as well just jump onto the story. That's what we're doing right here. We're just trying to we're trying to speed through the story. Or it's to the story. Yeah, because it's gotten good. I mean, yeah. Cause like this is uh this is uh, the the legendary Super Saiyan saga, mm -hmm. and then we have the Cell saga, and then we have the Majin saga, and after that I don't know what comes next because I don't know if they jump into GT or not. Because mm. GT was weird. GT. Yeah, Dragon Ball GT. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Step into the Grand Tour. That that shit. Oh. Okay. Matter of fact, since you can't touch things, mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, let this dialogue go. Okay. Slowly but surely. Will <coughs> you explain some things? While I uh, uh, Google how tall Napoleon was. Oh, okay. Because what, that's what really? you do. I think you have to continue the that, that's dialogue. What, that's, what, that's, what, uh, that's what I'm doing both at the same time. Napoleon oh, bottom hell. part. Five, six. Huh, okay. He's five six. I mean, like if he had if he had mad hops like Spud Webb and Muggsy Bogues, he probably could dunk. Probably. Yeah. So, so he, he's still in dunking territory. So Tim Duncan, the basketball player. I know. I'm trying to figure out where what, you. What, 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 what size was he? He's like seven foot tall. Well, why'd they call him short? Nobody called Tim Duncan short. He called somebody on the Spurs short. There's a lot of people on the Spurs who they would call short, but it was not Tim Duncan. I thought Maybe it was Tim Tony Parker? No, I thought it was Tim Duncan, but okay. No, Tim Duncan's like seven feet tall. Okay, okay. Well, oh, hell. If you don't, you're it's because of you, I'm skipping the dialogue now. It's your fault. Well, I, I thought you said he, he was going to whoop our ass anyway. No, we're going to whoop his ass. First time he whooped our ass. Okay. Oh, we've out-leveled him now. Do we, oh, no, we did not dodge that. How? We did dodge it. What are you talking about? It said total damage. Oh, that's because I stopped my combo. Oh, okay, okay. No, oh, now that hit. Don't 
trying to get to a spot where I can hit him with this shit right here. Ah, okay. Get Rex, Zarbonzi. Zarbonzi. Nice. Oh, God damn. Oh shit, he caught us from nowhere. That's straight dickery, dude. Oh God, fuck you. Oh, that's some straight bullshit right there. Oh God, fuck you. Could you not spoon me while we're in the middle of fighting? Like, that's just weird. Oh, seriously. Can we? Oh, no, we're not able to do that. Do what? Our little uh, power move. <sighs> no, I'm just waiting. Like, seriously, like, it's not much of a fighting game that requires a lot of strategy. It's like, okay, just block what you can't. Oh, bull fucking shit. Because, like, I, I'm hitting him. I see that. And it's just like, oh, I'm able to do whatever I, I want because it's some story fight bullshit. Yeah. What's happening there? Slow down. Was that a glitch? Again, I'm hitting oh. his ass. I'm hitting, I'm beating the fuck out of him. But because there's instances where he could just, like, no sell, like this shit. Oh, Just straight up no sells my shit to do this bullshit. And then he comes running after me to spoon me. Yeah, which is weird. And I can't avoid that. No. And he's able to do this like multiple fucking times. And he should be able to. That's it. Go it's not an yourself. S rank, A rank. Fuck you. Cause like that, that doesn't make the fight hard. It's just like, okay, I'm literally whooping your ass, mm -hmm. but because you're able to just fire off key blasts without any worry about your own key, but I gotta worry about my shit. It's it's more of a story based fight. Yeah, you're right. And I don't hate it, but like Jesus, yeah, that's, it gets, it gets while, fucking probably, annoying. Yeah, it gets a little frustrating. I think after a while. Well, I mean, like one of the biggest problems that I had with Xenoverse is like when he got when he got to the story missions, it would cut down their health to like I had to whittle their health down to a certain spot. But if you over level, you would get to that spot quickly. But the fight doesn't end there. You they have to go through their whole dialogue bullshit. Okay. And taunt me and and talk and all this other shit. So I'm basically fighting and getting nothing out of it. But at the same time, if they hit me, on the other hand, mm -hmm. I take damage. Oh, well, yeah. There, there've been cool. there've been moments where it's like, okay, bring them down to X health. I did that. But the the fight lasts another minute and I have to make sure I don't die in that minute, even though I did my job. Right. And it's the same kind of bullshit where it's like, I'm way higher level. I'm whooping dude's ass. But because you don't have the same, like, key usage issue that I do with my character, you get to just fire off key blasts and, and special attacks without any consequence. Okay. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Yeah. Here's my next question. Krilla just gave Vegeta the ball. Why? Yeah. Uh, Because it's Vegeta and he would whoop his ass. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to die. I'm just going to speed through. Fuck this. What's going on? Cutscene. Oh, cutscene. Hurry up and hide. Yeah, hurry up and hide. Yeah, go down there and hide there, Gohan. Yeah, cause he's looking. I'm looking for your ass. I'm looking, cause I'm a sea bass. Where did this power come from? All of a sudden, but it's gone. What's going on? Who's there? If you don't show yourself right now, I'll reduce this place to ashes! Like, you can't see my freaking mm. haircut over the ridge? Guess not. Because I sure as hell can. It's only me. Well, if it isn't Kakarot's little brat. You know you tried to kill me, asshole. Mm -hmm. Where did you get he doesn't care. You're a brat. 
It was a gift. Really? You're gonna, you gonna? That's what you're gonna get wow. Krillin on? The fact that he's bald? He shaves his head. Very cleanly, Vegeta. He's, not, he's nice. not bald because he can't grow it. He shaves his head. No, he's alive. But I'd be more than willing to fix that if you'd like. Vegeta, why you gotta be a dick? And I think I'll let you live. Luckily for you, I'm feeling generous now that I've got all the Dragon Balls. Yes, you have all the Dragon Balls. All don't you say a word, Gohan. God damn it. What's that you've got in your hand there? Oh, uh, this? It's a watch. Oh, wow. Primitive technology. I'm surprised you Earthlings managed to make it to a remote planet like this. Yeah. Then that must mean Kakarot's here, too. Not yet. Probably on the way. Oh, I see. That's too bad. When you get back to Earth, tell Kakarot something for me. The next time What's that? we meet... I'm going to turn him and his precious planet into space dust. Okay. <laughs> they, they really are, are, are cool with, like, not showing the child abuse. Because, mm -hmm. like, I'm pretty sure I remember him, like, whooping his ass. Probably did. Like, punching him in the gut, just like, ha-ha, you're a bitch. And then, papa, and then ran away. Wait, ha-ha, you're a bitch, then papa, and runs away. Yeah, that's what he did. Okay. He's just like, oh, go on. And then punches him in the stomach. All and right. then flies away like, ha 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 ha! Okay. Prince of all bitch boys. Look. Look what I found. Well, he is. A little bit. Go, go, Han. We knew you could do it. Yeah, even though you gave it away, I Krillin. Know. We better get out of here. And quickly. Vegeta now knows where to find us. Yeah. Yeah. I ran into him not too long ago. But yeah, Krillin. Fortunately, I was able to hide this ball well enough that he didn't find it. Hide it well <coughs> enough. You literally <coughs> just hid it if behind a rock. rock. One lucky kid, you know that? That's enough. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm with Bulma on this one. <laughs> Me too. We're this just is, out in the open with is, the... And more... <laughs> the bodies are still there. It's not here. Impossible. It's a strange... That's because we got it. ...was to here and where the Earthling was before. But how? That device he was holding. That wasn't a watch. That wasn't a watch at all. That little maggot. He took what is rightfully mine and will pay with his life. <laughs> Hopefully we're gone. Hopefully we're gone. He's like, do you hear that? Gohan, I feel that. No, yep, yeah, we're gone. Bye. They have no idea who they're messing with. It's only a matter of time before they come out. I mean, bro, you did uh, you did say that you were going to kill us yeah. and destroy our planet. And they do. I'll make them regret ever having crossed me. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And there we go. Uh, we, we are just zooming through yep. this whole saga. I will say that. We're able to secure one of the okay. Way to be choppy for a second. But it was quickly stolen by Vegeta. But thanks to Gohan's quick thinking, they were able to... Quick thinking. He hid it behind a rock. Oh, okay. He, he didn't, like, dig a hole or anything. He just straight up said, ah, oh, I'm just going to hide it behind a rock. And his field of vision just doesn't see it. The trio had to find a new place to hide. Krillin then made his way back to Guru with Gohan in tow. Oh, yeah. We get to unlock my secret ability. Yeah, freezes ace up his sleeve. And we will handle that. Next time on Bunt Smasher. We'll catch y'all later. Later. Give me a later, D. Later. Deuces. Bye. Bye. Why must you hurt me? How? In the, the show.